Okay guys, in this video we'll be talking about uh, the function of MHC molecules. Uh, we have seen the structure, we have seen the processivity of it and now we'll be seeing the function. Now the basic function what we know is that MHC molecules showcase the antigen uh, or antigenic peptide to other cells like T helper cells so that this T helper cell can call upon other cells like cytotoxic killer cells and also it can trigger the humoral response to produce the antibody against that particular antigen, right? Now you can see in this uh, view uh, clearly illustrated by this picture so let me take a color first let's say okay now in this picture what we get in this case let's say uh, suppose this is the beginning of it so a bacteria enters into our cell so our healthy cell is there bacteria enter it so it infect the cell after infecting this cell so it altered the self self components and after that our uh, natural degradation machinery of inside cell like the lysosomal components will degrade these bacterial particles it will provide us with small peptide fragments like that now they will load this small peptide fragment onto the mhc class 2 molecules and will showcase them to to uh, other cells like t cell now as it is showcasing these peptide molecules with mhc class 2 we, we can tell this kind of cell as antigen presenting cells or APCs. Now usual example of APC is a kind of macrophage, uh, it could be uh, B cells, okay, it could be dendritic cells, right. So these are the examples of different uh, antigen presenting cells. So it presents this peptide fragment to uh, cell like T helper cell. Now as the T helper cell is coming, T helper cell will recognize this particular antigen here denoted with this red color red dot this one uh, via that a T cell receptor that is present onto the surface of T cell. Now this T helper cell will recognize this antigen with this T helper uh, uh, T cell receptor. After that it also receives some signal and then it is becoming activated. Now as the T cell is now becoming activated it will secrete some important chemical mediators called interleukins. This interleukins of different type will call upon other cells like cytotoxic killer cell or CTL. Now the CTL is dangerous because they, the only thing they can do is to kill a cell whether it's a healthy or uh, not healthy it usually kill the uh, unhealthy cell. So you can say CTL is coming and it will be attached to uh, this particular uh, cell with MHC class 1 molecule. This is very very important. We can see the interaction of class 2 MHC molecule with T helper cell but usually when CTL need to interact it must have class 1 MHC onto the opposite side showing that particular peptide. So it will hold on to this because they can recognize only class 1 MHC so they will recognize class 1 MHC and recognize the cell and it, 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 it provides the cell a signal that yes cell is not good, cell is not healthy. Now CTL will release some enzymes like perforins and granzymes that will finally go to degrade this particular cell so that the infection uh, cannot be spread to other cells. So this is a kind of response that is caused by uh, the call up, uh, by by this T helper cell to call this site. So this is a first kind of response. Uh, it is also called as cellular mode of response. So let me write it here. Cellular mode of response in this case. Okay. Now in other mode of response we are going to see in this case T helper cells also release some chemical mediators that are going to call upon uh, B cells. Right, so B cells are the part of the humoral response, right? So now as the B cells are uh, told that yes, there is something going on, you need to go against those antigens, you need to provide us with your missiles which are simply antibodies here we can see. So this B cell will attach to the antigen and they will recognize it and they will prepare itself uh, for, for, for secreting all those antibodies which are going against this antigen. Now those antibodies will come and it will coat all this antigen. After coating of all this antigen with this antibody then we are having opsonization and then macrophage or the phagocytic cell will come and engulf this bacteria. Right? So macrophage engulfment, this thing can be done. So this part of the segment is called the humoral response of immunity. So these are the two different section of immunity. Both of them are activated by T helper cells. So T helper cells are playing very important role and more importantly this MHC class 1 and class 2 molecules are the first kind of uh, signaling molecule that is telling all the rest of the immune cells that hey something uh, wrong is going on inside me. Right. So that's a very very important part. And if we zoom into the structure where, where remember if we, if we go back what we have seen in this case, we have seen the interaction between this T helper cell with the APC or antigen presenting cell. What kind of interaction is going on? If we zoom into this particular region, what we will find here is this particular image. Now you can see here it is a cytotox, it is a 
CD4 T8 T cell. Now this T cell is called T helper cell. So I, I, I am telling you some important fact is that there are two types of T cell. T helper cell it is written as TH and cytotoxic T cell written as TC. Now usually T helper cells are consisting of a cluster of designation proteins or CD proteins. It usually have CD4 proteins but TC cells are usually have CD8 proteins. So these are the major differences and also another difference the cytotoxic cell kills the, uh, kill, uh, the cell using uh, are attaching with MHC class 1. We have already seen that. Now in case of T helper cell it attaches via MHC class 2 molecules but not the class 1. So these are the major differences you must uh, take care of. Now let's say here this is the antigen presenting cell. It is presenting the peptide here denoted with this uh, yellow color. Now this is the MHC molecule. It is holding on to this peptide. This is the groove of peptide binding region. Then T cell, T helper cell will come and recognize it. But you can see this recognition as in the previous picture we can see there is only one uh, interaction was shown but this is not only one interaction. There are many interactions that are going on. Now for that the major interaction providing region is the MHC2 molecule and the TCR or T cell receptor that are found onto the surface of T cells as you can see in this picture. Right? So TCR with MHC2, this is the major, this is the major interaction. But except for this interaction, there are other interactions which are also important, which are called the co-stimulatory molecule. For example, here we can see the co-stimulatory molecule is he, this one, B7, which is coming out of this APC or antigen presenting cell with the CD28. This is another kind of cluster of designation protein, 28, right? So it activates this T helper cell. This, this is also important. Now, once we get the activation of T helper cell, this, this APCs also need to be activated in a certain way so that this APC will be killed. And in this case, we are having another third round of, so this is the second round, third round of interaction. And this is via the CD40, which is popping out from the antigen presenting cell with the CD40 ligand that is present on the surface of T helper cell. Now, this interaction with uh, TCR with MHC along with uh, B7 with CD28 and CD40 with CD40 ligand finally provide all the signaling cascades complete and then uh, this T helper cells are getting finally activated and they will bring upon other type of cell. Other cells like cytotoxic T cells so they will bring up a TC, they can bring a macrophages, uh, they can bring uh, beta cells in all these cases, right? So this is a very important part. And if we look at this case, we can find it in case of uh, interaction between the MAC1 uh, with uh, CD8, we can find it. MAC1 with CD8, the interaction is like that. But in case of MAC2 with CD4, which is a T helper, it's kind of different. Now here it is another picture showing us that the major interaction is between MAC and T cell receptor. But except for that, we must have this kind of extra ligand interactions. Uh, th those are also necessary. Right, except for that, the, this particular part cannot be accomplished. Okay, so that's the process of we can see why uh, this uh, what you can say MAC molecules are important because they are very very important to call upon other cells into the dangerous fighting scenes. Okay, so that's it. I hope that's helpful. Thank you.